Hey everybody, it's Craig back to here and in this video we're going to have a quick look at the Sony a7 III I autofocus feature and how to set that up on your camera. Now in the second part of this video we're going to do a quick camera comparison between the Nikon D850 and the Sony a7 III. So watch out for that in the second part of this video. Alright, let's get started. Okay, here's a look at the I autofocus on the Sony a7 III. Once you set it up it does a great job of tracking the subject's eye. Here's how you set up the eye autofocus tracking on the Sony a7 III. So go to your menu and look at the left hand upper number one. So you see the camera icon with number one. Click on that and then scroll down to page five of 14. You'll see focus mode. Switch that focus mode to continuous autofocus. So I have that set to continuous autofocus. And then I have priority set in autofocus single and continuous the same. I have it set for AF autofocus. Focus area I have set to wide. So those are the settings right there. Now the next thing you wanna do is go to the next page, so six, go to center lock on autofocus, I have that on, set face priority and autofocus, click on that, you can see I have face priority and autofocus on, face detect frame, I have that on as well. Now if we go up to the top, then also if we scroll across, we can set custom buttons for this. So I have one assigned to my AF on button. So on the back of my camera by the record button, so if you go to custom key, if you click here, you can set custom keys for all of the different buttons on your camera. So a lot of them I have customized. So I'll go through that in another video, but I just want to show you what I have this set for. So if you look here, second one down, autofocus on button, I have that set for I autofocus. So all I have to do is press the AF on button on the back of my camera, keep that held down, and that will track someone's eye. So try these settings out and see how they work for you. Here's a quick camera comparison. Which image was shot with the Sony and which one was shot with the Nikon? Decide A or B. I'll show you another series of images. You decide on that too. Which one was the Nikon? Which one was the Sony? Keep that in mind and at the end of the video I'll tell you which one was A and which one was B. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful give me a thumbs up for this video. Also if you're not already a subscriber hit that subscribe button. I release a new photography video every week and if you want to get an email update when that video goes live just click on the bell notification as well. Now also if you have any comments or questions about this video you can post them down below. All right thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. All right what did you decide? What was shot with A and what was shot with B? Are you ready? So Sony is A and the Nikon D850 is B. So I'm going to show you the next series of images next too. And the Sony is A and the Nikon is B. I know this is a really quick camera comparison. I'll probably do a future video about this, but I just want to show you a couple of quick clips from this portrait shoot.